Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. I'd really love that. If you're returning, how you doing? What we're going to be talking about right now is a perfect storm. A perfect storm that is raging all around us. And our world is so close, so close to plunging into a complete and utter state of chaos that even the MSM is talking about it. And I know that's something that you would never think that you would even hear, but it's the truth. It really, truly is. So because of this, I have been doubling down. I've been doubling down on my preps. I've been prep shopping like a, like a son of a gun. I really, truly have. And I encourage you to do the same. So these past several years have been a time when multiple major wars have begun, pestilences have paralyzed the entire planet, and the worst global uh, food crisis in modern history has erupted. And we have been hit by a seemingly endless series of natural disasters. But there is a growing consensus that even more difficult times are ahead of us. Have you ever heard of a TV show? It's called Face the Nation. Well, there was a roundtable discussion on this show called Face the Nation. When one of the correspondents, her name is Catherine Herridge, I think I'm saying her name correctly, actually confessed that she is concerned that 2024 may be the year of a black swan event. What happened was there was a bunch of like talking heads, if you will, uh, taking an opportunity to make predictions, so-called predictions, uh, what they think is going to happen in 2024. While most of these predictions were relatively unoriginal, okay, one of them stood out, prompting critics to puzzle over its possible significance. Now, keep in mind that Catherine Herridge is the wife of a lieutenant colonel in the U.S. Air Force. So this black swan event is a national security event with a high impact that is very hard to predict. She gave several reasons for why she felt the need to issue such a dark prediction, including that this sort of enduring heightened threat level that we are facing, the wars in Israel, also Ukraine, and we're so divided in this country in ways that we have never seen before. And she said, I think that just creates fertile ground for our adversaries in North Carolina, in China, and also in Iran. So, hmm, you know, it seems like I've heard all of this somewhere before. I just can't put my finger on it, you know? Of course, she is right on target. So, so much of this is going to happen during the new year that it is about to start. I mean, I agree with her, don't get me wrong, but I don't think that it will be just one black swan event that we will be facing. A black swan event is considered an unlikely, uh, unpredictable event with significant consequences. Some examples of black swan events include the Wall Street crash of 1921, uh, 1929, which uh, was the beginning of uh, the Great Depression, uh, the dissolution of the Soviet Union, 9-11, uh, uh, the global financial crisis of 2008, the C-19 pandemic, okay? So could 2023 be the year of the brink and 2024 be even worse? I mean, it could be 
it could have been, I should say that, it could have been immeasurably worse, but holding back from the brink in 2023 has simply deferred vast crises to 2024. The post-C19 world is exhausted. We, as a people, are exhausted. We're cash-strapped, but ultimately more fraught than for decades. Overshadowing it all will be a flagging hyper power at, at, at best distracted with the selections of next year, okay? At worst, tearing itself apart in disputes and political extremism. Uh, the likelihood the United States will be occupied okay, by its own traumas, amplifies each risk. The geopolitical uh, given of a U.S. response will be absent, fueling authoritarian ambition or a radical upending of the global order. 2024 could make 2023 seem rational and sober. And that's scary. Meanwhile, we have the war in the Middle East just continues to heat up. The U.S. military conducted a series of strikes on Iranian-backed forces in Iraq. Uh, Iranian-backed forces have already attacked U.S. troops in Iraq and Syria more than 100 times. Whether this administration is willing to publicly admit it or not, the truth is that the U.S. is already at war in the Middle East. Could we soon be at war with China as well? Well, Xi Jinping just issued quite an ominous statement about Taiwan. He vowed to resolutely prevent anyone from splitting Taiwan from China in any way. There is little more than two weeks before Taiwan elects a new leader. And China views democratically governed Taiwan as its own territory, despite the strong objections of the government of Taipei, and has ramped up military and political pressure to assert its sovereignty claims. The Chinese will not invade before the upcoming election in Taiwan. And I don't think that the Chinese will invade uh, during the early months of 2024 anyway, but an invasion is most definitely coming. Now, a time of global, global conflict is upon us. That's without a, a, a shadow of a doubt. And many believe that 2024 will be the year when we finally pass the point of no return. So, like I said, prep up, pray up, get right, act right. And hope and pray to God that none of this even happens. You know, prepare for the worst and hope for the best, you know. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I will see you in the next one. You stay safe. You stay positive. You keep prepping. And as always, fearless. Ciao.